Hi, this is Lee Harris from Emoji Trading, and today we're going to look at a new feature introduced in version 3.06 of our order flow suite for Sierra Chart called Volume Profile Analysis. We can now apply selected emoji tools to volume profiles as well as to regular chart bars or footprints. This might sound simple, but it's got some really powerful applications. So let's take a look at why you might want to do this and some creative ways to apply it. First, let's think about the bars on your chart. When you set up a chart, let's say a five minute chart, the computer is going to start building a new bar at the end of every five minute period. In other words, the clock resets and we start accumulating the trading activity from this point onwards, nine o'clock, 9.05, 9.10, etc. Now, whether you're using time-based charts, range charts, volume, tick, point and figure reversal, whatever, the concept's the same. At the point when the trigger for a new bar to be built is reached, five minutes, eight price levels, 5,000 contracts, the bar closes and a new bar starts to be built. So when you're looking at the volume traded within each bar using a footprint, the volume is accumulating from the point in time when the bar started and looking forward until the trigger for a new bar has been reached. Now, let's think about how the majority of popular technical analysis indicators work. They tend to look backwards across a historic set of chart bars. For example, a nine period moving average is taking the latest moment on the chart and looking backwards across nine bars. As a new bar starts being built, the oldest bar drops out of what's being calculated. That's why we refer to price-based indicators as lagging. They are looking backwards. So let's imagine we were using Bollinger Bands. The classic settings for Bollinger Bands are applying a 20 period moving average to price and then projecting bands that are two standard deviations away from this average. Some people that haven't studied John Bollinger's work mistakenly think that the bands are just there to be faded sell the upper band, buy the lower band, and the price they pay for this lack of knowledge is a bunch of losing trades. That's why it's so important to understand what any indicator or tool does before you just apply it to a chart and try to trade with it. Once you understand John Bollinger's work, you see that its value is that the bands are a measure of volatility and that low volatility precedes high volatility. That's the basis of a condition known as the Bollinger squeeze, and you can monitor the potential for a Bollinger squeeze by charting the width between the Bollinger bands, which is commonly called bandwidth. This can provide a clue that we may get a high volatility move if we are currently in a period of low volatility or low bandwidth, but it doesn't tell us in which direction the move may occur. So what clues can we find using order flow analysis to try to determine the direction of a potential high volatility move? A simple method would be to look at the pattern of delta through the period of low volatility. In other words, is supply or demand increasing? I think the visualization of delta that provides the most help here is cumulative delta. Here, we're charting Bollinger bandwidth and cumulative delta, and we can see that there's certainly some connection between the direction of the high volatility move and the direction of delta that precedes the move. But even with this clue, when and where would we enter? When is it opportune to fade the edges? And when are the edges likely to break as part of a higher volatility move? Let's start to apply emoji tools to pinpoint some really good entry opportunities. The chart that we're looking at here is a one minute chart of ES, and I've set it to display the footprints for each chart bar. If I apply an emoji tool like Price Rejector Pro to each chart bar, then it's evaluating the volume in each individual bar. Here's where our new volume profile analysis gets smart. Let's take all of the volume that's in the 20 bars that the Bollinger Bands are evaluating. To do this, I'm adding a standard Sierra chart volume profile to the chart. They call it volume by price. And I'm basing the profile upon the most recent 20 bars. On this one minute chart, that's equivalent to the last 20 minutes of volume. The thing is, if I also set up a 20 minute chart, which would need to be a separate chart anyway, I'd be looking forwards in time slots of 20 minutes from the start of the trading session. So for ES, that would be a new bar at 8.30 a.m. Central, 8.50, 9.10, 9.30, etc. And this is not how the Bollinger Bands are being calculated. 
the Bollinger Bands are looking at the most recent 20 bars. So this volume profile is looking at the most recent volume. In other words, what's happening now and aggregating backwards over the last 20 bars, whereas our 20 minute chart is looking forwards at fixed 20 minute intervals. Let's change some Sierra chart settings for this volume profile so now we can see the bid and ask volume within the profile. You can see that we've basically got a footprint, but it's looking backwards by 20 bars from the most recent trading, and you can see how this volume is different to the 20 minute chart. So, in the same way that emoji tools can find patterns inside the order flow of each bar, our new volume profile analysis feature lets us find patterns inside the order flow of a volume profile. This lets us qualify the order flow within the area of trading that the profile is aggregating. In this case, it's the last 20 bars, which are the same 20 bars that the Bollinger Bands are looking at. So let's tell Emoji Price Rejector Pro to evaluate the volume in the volume profile, not in the individual chart bars. I do that using these inputs, setting the volume analysis source to volume profile, and then selecting which volume profile on the chart I want the tool to analyse. So now, as we move forward through time, and the volume captured in the volume profile over the last 20 bars changes, Price Rejector Pro is looking for patterns in the order flow that are aligned to the period of time through which the Bollinger Band evaluation is taking place. So I have the Bollinger Bands giving me some view of potential opportunities, and Emoji Price Rejector Pro, which is a great tool for identifying potential reversals, showing me when and where we have strong potential for a reversal entry. As well as Price Rejector Pro, we've added volume profile analysis to our edge zones and small prints visualization tools. These are both great tools to highlight when aggressive supply and demand comes into play. So by using this example of the Bollinger Squeeze as a filter for a potential trade opportunity, we can do a couple of things. Once we see that we're in a period of low volatility by using the Bollinger bandwidth, we can use Price Rejector Pro to look for a reversal entry, and we can use edge zones and small prints to show us when aggressive trading starts happening in a particular direction. So now we can not only be aware that there's potential for a high volatility move, we can also get some insight about the direction in which it may happen. Volume Profile Analysis is available in version 3.06 of the Emoji Order Flow Suite for Sierra Chart. This is a free update for existing users and it can be downloaded from our website. If you're not yet using our tools to help your trading, you can sign up here for a free 14-day trial. Good trading, and we'll see you next time with more ideas that can help to make your trading more consistent with lower risk by using order flow analysis. Bye for now.